Hey guys, today I'm filming my spring makeup must haves for 2024. If you've never seen one of these videos from me before, I've been doing them on my channel every season for years and years and years at this point. I like to show you products for eyes, cheeks, lips, and nails. Some of these products were limited edition or discontinued. That is not to rub it in your face. It is to remind you to pull them out if you have them. And I'm simply just gonna be letting you know what I plan on using for this season. And I am very stereotypical when it comes to the colors that I wear each season. And that's just how I am. But by doing that and designating certain products for different seasons, it does help me get more use out of my collection, which is always a win. So for eyes, I really love beautiful like peachy pinky neutrals and pastels. So I have a lot of different single shadow options that are more peachy neutrals and I forgot to bring them out here but if you guys have seen any of my makeup of the days on Instagram you know how much I love my Anastasia singles in Birkin for transition color and Bengal for crease colors. They're warm tone without being too orangey so I do like a lot of those with these and then I'll usually take a matte peachy eyeshadow and just fluff it on top in the crease and that just finishes it off perfectly. So out of all of these, my top pick was unfortunately limited edition. This is a Dose of Colors Ideal Duo in Magic Moment. So you have a very sticky cream shadow on top and then a loose pigment on the bottom. This is a really pretty peachy rose gold kind of shade. And then I have the Illamasqua Iconic Chrome Pigment Paint in Alluring, another beautiful rose gold. Also from Kaja, their Peach Madeline stack is fantastic. They have so many different formulas within this line and this one is my absolute favorite color wise and with the formulas. So you have this more chunky shimmer but it's still very easy to work with. And then you have a thinner shimmer but this has like a little bit of extra sparkle in it on the eyes which is pretty and then a really great matte. I have this MAC Dazzle shadow in Last Dance. So it's got a little bit more peachy here, a little more pink here. So pretty and brightening on the lid. I feel like all of these help make my eyes look nice and bright. And then from Tarte, we have some of their Chrome Pots, which are some of my favorite shadows ever. This one is more of like a true champagne. It is in the color Paradise Found. And then we have Frosé, which is more of that NARS orgasm-esque type of color, which could be really pretty for summer as well, but I tend to go a bit more bronzy in the summer so i usually end up wearing this in spring and then some newer singles to me that i've been loving would be two of the odin's eye multi-chrome singles and oh, i'm sure i won't even be able to capture on camera how incredible they are this first one is isabella so you've got peach pink green but it is more neutral so it's a really great like fun everyday shade and then for a really amazing purple we have judy so you can see more purple here flash of pink here absolutely gorgeous there's some blue oh it is so good and those perform so well then i have some small palettes this one is so good this is natasha denona mini b but i only get one look out of this but i love the look so much the only bummer is that this is one of those creamy mattes which i hate but i am able to use this in my outer corner use this on my lower lash line that's an amazing metallic and you guys know i love these type of mattes then for the first time ever i made my own natasha denona palette which i do not like taking apart palette so i only changed around two shades because i don't want to get them mixed up i didn't write the names in the back so these first three shades are from the natasha denona coral palette and then these two are from the jubilee palette and i think now we have just like a perfect spring palette some really great mattes that will be nice to have as staples to add in with different lid shades so i am excited to now put this in my makeup basket then i have m cosmetics divine skies eyeshadow palette in magic hour flower beauty desert lights the best drugstore metallic shadow formula ever and then these are my last two standbys and this is ColourPop Sweet Talk has been a favorite for years. And then this was limited edition. It is She's Got Solstice. I think this could be nice for summer as well. Then I have my custom Z palette. These are the Davina Exploders. 
And then here we have a mix of Luxy, Makeup Geek, and ColourPop. All of these small shades are depotted from different ColourPop palettes. Most of these have names on them, not all of them. I will have these all listed in order down below. Then for big palettes, the only mainstream one that I'm featuring today would be Huda Beauty Mercury Retrograde. This top row here has so many great colorful shades, pastels, and oh, I really need to get some more use out of these and this palette in general. Then everything else here is indie. This is the Kaleidos Flower Punk palette. The first half here has some really nice pastels. These other colors here I like better in fall. Then we have Kaleidos Sashimi City. I love that both of the shimmers are more duochrome. It makes the looks a little bit more fun, punches up a great everyday look. Then for the best purple mattes I've ever worked with, we have Kaleidos Lunar Lavender. This is a palette I fell in love with last year. This is Sugar Drizzle Sugar Dreams, all shimmery, stunning pastel shades. We do have a little bit of oil seepage here, but that's okay. These perform so well and are so pigmented. I absolutely fell in love with so many of the looks I created with this. And the last couple palettes are new. And I, in just a few days in the mail, I'm going to be getting the Inslee Rain Land of Enchantment palette, which looks like it would be a really good one for winter and for spring. So I'm so excited to use that. But also I've had this for a while and haven't busted into it yet. This is one of their first palettes or at least the oldest one that's still available. I believe this is Flower Moon. A little too many greens in here, but a lot of really beautiful shades. I'm so excited to try their formula, especially because I have the Lands of Enchantment on the way and the Cold Moon. So I bought more without even trying the one that I have, but that's how much confidence I have that it's going to be amazing. Then from Glaminatrix, we have the Rich Romantic palette, which has some really pretty colorful shades, but they're not as pastel as some of my other options. And then what I'm wearing today is another palette that I think would be great for winter or spring. And this is Cosmic Brushes Winter Wonderland. And lastly for eyes, I have some pencil liners that I absolutely love throwing on my lower lash line when I'm wanting a more like easy neutral eye. I love this ColourPop Creme Gel Liner in Rosette. This was limited edition. It's a beautiful like rose gold copper mix. And then for some pastel liners, ColourPop does have other ones, but these are just my ride or dies. I have used them up and repurchased them. So first we have Zulu, which is a mint. And Prance is a periwinkle blue. Then from Nabla, I have the Cupid's Arrow liners. These are just available now on their site in a set. I bought them when they were at Ulta. I love this formula. I have so many shades from them. And these are the mint and lavender colors. Now moving on to bronzers and highlighters. For bronzer, unfortunately, out of my three options, only one is currently available. And this is the a Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer in the regular bronzer shade. I've actually used this up and repurchased. It is such a great product. And then I have the Too Faced Sweethearts Bronzer and Sweet Tea. This is a glowy option, but it is not too glittery. This one is like neutral leaning warm. And lastly, we have the very highly rated Marc Jacobs Tantastic Bronzer. Honestly, I think this one is fine, but not amazing, but I wanna get my good use out of it. Then for a highlighter, I have lots of other things that I am testing to see if I wanna keep, but my absolute top two must-haves for an everyday more champagne highlight would be the Nabla Skin Glazing in Ozone. But for more of a fun yet wearable highlight, I love Benefit Tickle. It is pink, but there is like a little bit of golden tone in there that just makes it so wearable. And that really is the best formula. I would love for Benefit to come out with more shades. Then for liquid and cream blushes, I have six options, three peaches and three pinks. So first for some amazing liquid blushes, the ones from Rare Beauty, I don't have to be as careful with these because these are lighter than the other shades I have, but my full size is Bliss, which is the peach. And then I have this mini in a door that was part of a set for birthday a little while ago. I'm not sure if this is a permanent shade or not, but this is a perfect color of pink. I have a really hard time finding pinks that I absolutely love and feel like look good on me, but this is one that I think is amazing because it's not too white based or too blue tone. Then I, speaking of pinks that 
I love and work well for me. This is a little bit more blue tone, but not again, too. So speaking of pinks that work well for me, this is the Merit Flesh Balm in Stockholm. Another good peachy option is the M Cosmetics So Soft Cream Blush in the color Lychee. They also have more of a cool tone pink if that is your vibe. And then these have unfortunately been discontinued. These are the cream blushes that got me into cream blush because they're more of a cream to powder formula. These are the Bare Minerals Bounce and Blur blushes. We have Pink Sky and Coral Cloud. This is one that I had usually been using in summer, but I want to use it in spring this year because I do have some other ones that I think I would prefer in the summertime. And these, and now we're just going to grab and go with blushes. Some of these I feel like could be good for spring or for summer, but I just decided today for some of these that like, nope, I'm gonna try them this year in spring. The first two being some of the RMS Redimension Hydro Powder blushes. This is French Rosé and this is Mai Tai. I especially think Mai Tai could also be great for summer. The Ciate Glow 2 Blush and Doll Face. The sadly discontinued Becca Flower Child. The recently rediscovered Frat Boy Blush from the Balm. House Labs Pomelo Peach, which I think could also look really pretty in summer. Persona Bubble. This is the only more blue tone pink that I need. This is an incredible formula. It has a perfect amount of pigment. Looks really pretty on the cheeks. I'm so glad that I was able to get this one to be able to have the trend and love supporting Persona. Last for my single blushes, we have got M Cosmetics Magic Hour. And this is one initially I had in summer, but I want to try it in spring to see what I think this is cherub and then i have a couple different face palettes i'm going to be playing around with this spring but the ones i would say would be true must-haves would be the two of these this is the only thing i have from artist couture this is the love sprung volume one blush palette so you have two mattes and a shimmer and then from jouet we have the champagne and macaroons palette and sweet cheeks which is the lighter version all of the products in here are incredible and now we have lips. I have so many different options here, of course. So starting with bullet lipsticks, jumbo lip crayons, and liquid lipsticks. This is the unfortunately recently discontinued Buxom Full Force Lipstick in Heartthrob. You might be able to find this at TJ Maxx. Makeup by Mario Moisture Glow Plumping Lip Serum in Rose Glow. MAC Love Me Lipstick in Trey Blossé. Milani Color Fetish Matte Lipstick in Secret. NARS Power Matte Bullet Lipstick in Sweet Disposition. Tower 28 Juice Balm in Shake. M Cosmetics Lip Cushion in Magic Hour. And Dose of Colors Liquid Lipsticks in Bear With Me, Lazy Daisy, and Rosebud. So we have Buxom Makeup by Mario MAC Milani NARS Tower 28 M Cosmetics, and then the three from Dose of Colors. And then for lip glosses, I have several options as well. First is a Sigma Lip Cream in Begonia. This is different than a typical gloss formula. It's a little bit thicker. I have the Natasha Denona I Need a Rose lip glosses in Peony and Daphne. The Lawless Forget the Filler lip glosses in Lavender Sorbet and Violet Bloom. The Rare Beauty Tinted Lip Oil in Hope. And then the rest of these are buxom glosses, but first I wanted to show this combo. This is a ColourPop Lippy Pencil in Birdie. It was limited edition from several years back, but I specifically love this lip liner under the Buxom Plum Shot in the shade Flush, which is like a NARS orgasm type of shimmer, but it does have a clear base. Then we have the Buxom Lip Creams in White Russian and Bellini. Then we have these limited edition Buxom glosses. They're from last year, but as of the other day, these were still available at Ulta and very discounted. So we have the Lip Polish in Whitney and the Lip Cream in Negroni. Limited edition shade Buxom Strawberry White Sangria. This is a lip cream. This is a permanent shade Buxom Lip Cream and Creamsicle. And limited edition Buxom Frosé. This one's a little bit scary, but is a really nice topper. Here we have Sigma Begonia, the two Natasha Dona lip glosses, the Lawless glosses, Rare Beauty lip oil, and then all of the Buxom in the order that I showed them. 
And lastly, we have nail polishes, but I would love your recommendation because I have not purchased a polish in a really long time and I would love to try out some more indies. But for some mainstream options, we have Essie Stones and Roses, Blossom Dandy, and Where Is My Chauffeur. These all need to be shaken up. Then from OPI, we have I Believe in Manicures and You Are Such a Budapest. This has been a classic of mine since college. And these were polishes that I had in my summer must-haves but I wanted to try them in spring. This is the Nails Ink Unicorn Duo. We have Rainbow Wishes and Dream Dust. I think this one is spring and this one is summer, but we'll just see. I might just wear those towards the tail end of spring. And from Kale Polish, I have Miss Honey Charmed in St. Clair. From 90 Lacquer, we have Let It Rain, Robin's Egg, June 2016, and Budding. From Light Slacker, we have Secret Garden and Nebula. And Moon River and Blue Moon. So guys, those are all of my spring makeup must-haves for this year. I would love to hear your thoughts if you try these products. I would love to hear your favorite color combo suggestions if you have any of the palettes that I mentioned. And I would love to know if there are any certain products that are spring staples for you or what type of colors you tend to wear during this season. I want to thank you all so much for watching this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye, guys.